pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for 30 seconds of silent reflection. The student store will be open after school every Tuesday and Thursday to sell candy. The cost of the candy is $1.50. Thank you. Camp Ocean Piners. There will be a mandatory meeting in the Little Theater after school at 2.15. We will be discussing travel arrangements and a packing list. Parents are welcome to attend. Please make sure that you are able to attend. Greenspun and welcome to the first day of fourth quarter. Can you believe that three quarters of the school year have already flown by and the school year is almost over? But that means that it's time to start getting ready for SBAC testing. Now, I know, I know, SBAC testing is not the most fun or exciting thing in the world to do here at school, but it is necessary for a few very good reasons. Number one, it helps us to see if you are learning and growing here at Greenspun like you should be. It lets all of our teachers know if we're doing a good job teaching you, and it lets the state know that we are an awesome school like we know we are. Now, we have the very first SBAC test is coming up on March 29th. That is our mathematics practice test, kind of like a pretest to make sure that you are ready for SBAC, our Chromebooks are ready for SBAC, and our testing servers are ready. So you get ready for March 29th for the practice SBAC test. After that, we have our reading and language arts SBAC test on April 9th, 10th, and 11th. Our math SBAC test will be on April 30th and May 1st. And for eighth graders only, the science test will be on May 14th. Now, on all of those days, you need to make sure that you bring your Chromebook and your Chromebook is charged. So charge it and bring it to Greenspun every single day of testing. That's extremely important because we'll be taking the test on our Chromebooks. Also, you might want to bring your own earbuds or headphones for the test. We'll have some earbuds that we can hand out to students who forget theirs, but you'll want to be nice and comfortable with your own earbuds and your own headphones on testing days, so make sure that you bring those. 
Also, you will be required to close your Chromebooks when you are finished with the SBAC test. You will not be allowed to be on your Chromebooks to be working on anything else, browsing the internet or listening to music or anything else that might be distracting to the other people in the room because that would be distracting to them. So you have to bring something to read. You cannot use your Chromebooks uh, after you are done taking the test. And that whatever you read has to be on paper, so like a book or a magazine or something like that. Maybe even check out a book from the library. But you can't have your Chromebooks on or open once you are finished with that test for the day. Also, very important, no cell phones are allowed during SBAC testing. So please don't bring your cell phones to SBAC testing because if you get, have a cell phone during testing, it makes a huge amount of work for us to have to write a report for that. So everybody, good luck. Make us so very proud and show everything you know on SBAC testing and grow, Greenspun, grow. Thank you, Greenspun. Those were today's announcements. Have a great day.